What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. And in this video, this is going to be your solo mastery guide to Kinley College. In this episode, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Kinley Student Union. I've done this solo on both normal, hard, and challenging. And uh, I feel like I could give you guys a nice full walkthrough now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over there. I'm going to show you where it is. I'm going to unlock it, walk you through it, and then show you gameplay. The gameplay I'm going to show you is of the challenging mastery, 21 minutes total. Now, uh, to get to Student Union, you can pull up your map, and it is right here, um, back middle. Now, you can either highlight it on your GPS or just uh, run back there. You'll find it. Now for matchmaking, in case you're in Kinley College and you need matchmaking, right here in front of this truck is a matchmaking station. But this is your solo guide, so I'm going to show you exactly how I did this uh, solo. Um, I'm going to be doing this for each of these sections of Kinley College, and then at the end of that I'll do a video seeing uh, how I got on the leaderboard and the build I'm using. Now, you'll pretty much be able to guess the build I'm using from the gameplay, but if you are interested, just let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I will make a full build video on it for you. Now, I'm just putting this on normal just so I can show you all of the different areas. Now, you open up this, and you go down to the Echo. Now, for each of these Kinley College locations, once you activate the Echo, you have three different choices to, uh, you know, do your little investigations and the speed run. Now, first one, you have IED terminals. Second one, you have communication jamming hub. And then third one, you have to uh, escort a JTF engineer. Now, for the first one, fairly simple. Um, I'll show you in the gameplay as soon as I am done talking about this. All right, so IED terminals is the first part of Kinley Student Union um, that we are doing in the speed run. So you investigate, and then what's going to happen is this door is going to open and the timer starts. Run straight to this body, hold X, and then take this exact route. Now you want to make a beeline to this freezer. This is probably one of the only ways to make sure you get gold on the mastery. Is you have to run these like beeline routes. And then you'll open up this freezer right here. That will be your key. Once that happens, you will go back into this room right here. Now what I do is I usually put a turret down right here to block those enemies. And then you have to activate this generator. Once this generator is active, you have to stay in proximity of the generator and wait until it goes all the way up and finishes doing whatever it's doing. Uh, enemies will come out from the right side and from behind you. That's why I said if you put a turret there, it's pretty good. Now you will have, uh, I think it's either one or two boss enemies, so just be ready for that. Now after you clear this area, it's going to tell you to go down to the coffee shop. So you're going to take this exact route. And the terminal for the coffee shop is located right here. Once you uh, enable this, I throw a turret on these uh, blue barrels, and then I sit over here and take care of the enemies. Again, same thing goes, you have to wait until the bar is full. Uh, it will be timed, so stay within range, and then after that it will be complete. You will have one or two boss enemies. And then for the last part of uh, this one, you will go down to the lecture hall. So going down to the lecture hall, you will have... I think it's four different nodes. So here is your first node right here. Your second node will be in the middle. So right here. Your third node will be upstairs. So you want to take this route, jump up here, and all of this will be timed. So you have to do this fairly quick. Here's your third node. And then your fourth node is up top as well right here. All right, so there are your four nodes. What you have to do then is you have to defend your nodes for, I believe it's three minutes. And then once that is done, you will have some enemies 
and then that's it. You are good to go. It will tell you to return back to the Echo. Now, I just want to note that they are playing Nosferatu on the theater. So you can actually watch a really good, you know, chunk of the movie um, just by sitting here and watching it. It's pretty cool. So after completing this room, it will tell you to return to the Echo, and then you are done with the IED terminals. So go through here, back down the hallway to the reception area, and you are good to go. Boom. So that is your first one. That is IED terminals. JTF officer should have it. Agent, there's a good chance we're looking for a body. This is a recovery, not a rescue mission. Hardware key detected nearby. Hardware key detected. That key should give you root access privileges to the military grade servers. Granted, disabling remote detonation capabilities.
get those IEDs offline. Local access required to neutralize remote detonation capability. Agent, you need to take over the terminal so Isaac can control the network. Terminal controlled. Terminal infiltrated. Access lost.
agent. You can head back to the Echo. The outcasts won't be able to detonate those IEDs from here. Thank you for eliminating the threat to DC. Investigation terminals completed. All right. Now for this one, we are going to talk about the communication jamming hub. Now, for, you know, obvious reasons, I can't activate this one and walk you through this one. Um, because as soon as I go into the coffee room, the enemies are going to come at me, and then it's a whole ordeal. So I'm going to talk you through it, and then I'm going to show you the gameplay. So for the commission's hub, you are going to make your way through this uh, doorway to the coffee shop as soon as it starts. Once you do that, all you have to do is clear the room and then it will activate the communications hub. So you go, uh, it's top, middle of that area. You climb up there, you interact with the hub, and it will show you the color coordination. Now if you follow my gameplay, you'll see it's the exact same color coordination for every single run. So as soon as you figure it out, you are good to go. So once you do that, there will be two bosses. So what you do, is you're gonna hit investigate right here you're gonna run into coffee shop clear out the coffee shop go up to the communications hub and interact you're gonna figure out what the color coordination is follow those lines in that specific order and activate the hub in doing so it will release bosses now these bosses will only be injured by fire so you need to remember that you can only hurt the boss enemies with fire. So what you can do is you can either run a fire starter chem launcher, you can run a burn sticky, you can even pick up fire bullets. They are all over the map. So make sure you have some sort of fire. That way you can hurt those boss enemies. And then once you defeat those bosses, you come back to the echo and that's it. You're done with communication jamming. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the gameplay of that right now. And then we will move on to the last part of Student Union. Here we go. Investigation selected. Communications hub. A comms hub like this should require a significant power source. Might be what's masking the location of the mobile shade server. Accessing communications hub. Access denied. Working. We're getting a location on the mobile shade server. Oh shit, I lost it. Keep going, I'll keep working here. I'll send you coordinates if I get a lock on the server. Hostile communications. 
is intercepted. Confirm the mobile shade server is still somewhere on campus. Now head back to the Echo. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a clear signal after your data sync. All right, and finally, we are at the JTF engineer uh, section of Student Union. Once you interact uh, with this investigation, you are going to run down to the lecture hall. At the lecture hall, the engineer is held captive. So all you do is you defeat all of the enemies in that room, you unlock the door and release the engineer. What's gonna happen then is it's gonna be a escort mission. So you have to defend the engineer in the lecture hall, and then she's gonna run to another location. You have to defend her there, and then she will run to a third location. And then once you're done with that, she will run back here to the Echo, and you will be done with Student Union. All right, so I'm gonna show you that gameplay, and that will conclude this solo mastery guide to you know Kinley Student Union. If you have any questions at all let me know in the comment section below don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you're new and yeah try to uh, knock out these Kinley College uh, missions as fast as you can um, once you do that you can uh, get on the leaderboard and it, it's actually pretty neat but all right Kamikaze Von Doom enjoy the last part of this gameplay and I will see you guys in the next one peace
There's a key. One of these fuckers has it. Thanks. You saved my life. I don't know if you worked this out already. Just so we're on the same page, you need to know, the outcast made us jury rig the explosives to those radios. I, I think I can limit the broadcast range. Found the terminal! Cover me while I disable it! Convoy, see if I can salvage anything. Trust me, Jack's got this. Give her a couple of days and some duct tape, she'll have that convoy back. 